Alrighty folks, we're back. Doing more indie horror for all, and with me of course is the loud cat, who is currently under the blanket on my lap. Um, because she's determined to be on me today, but wants the blanket. But yes, we are back, we are doing this one, which is uh, horror, horror Tales The Beggar. Horror Tales The Beggar. So yes, let's, uh, let's see what this actually is. This is an expensive one for us. Um, I say expensive, but it's not that expensive, but it, it feels expensive for us because we don't tend to buy expensive games. And let me just pop. So yeah, this is Horror Tales The Beggar. Um, control space, time, and fight an evil mon an evil monster, singular, in this terror and science fiction journey set in a shattered, beautiful world. Bend physics the sky and the earth itself in engaging boss fight encounters with the full power of Unreal Engine 5. Oh dear, I just realised how much they're trying to sell me on on, uh, on gear. Um, but yeah, this is £8.57. Uh, it's currently half, almost half price, 40% uh, off. Um, so yeah, it's a bit cheaper than it would normally be, which is why I decided just to get it, considering we didn't really have much for today. Um, it's got a 4% release discount, which I'm not really sure why, but it does. Um, similar to the riveting sci-fi journey that unfolds in the aftermath of a catastrophic event where terror and science fiction intertwine amidst the ruins of a broken world. Immerse yourself in dynamic fusion of space-time bending combats and earth-shattering puzzles. Traverse the remnants of a once thriving civilization, now reduced to a treacherous landscape shaped by chaos and cataclysmic forces. The transformative power of Unreal Engine 5. <laughs> oh, I'm not ready for the fourth, the fourth wall advertising break. Propels you to this post-apocalyptic realm with unparalleled visual fidelity. Bringing to life the intricacies of the world scarred by devastation. Marvel at the breathtaking realistic environments you navigate to the world of remnants of a, forever bro of a world forever broken. Fight back! Use your powers to fight foes to defeat them using the robot chaos simulation engine of Unreal Engine 5! Do you feel like there's been a sponsorship here? Great boss fights. Fight an evolving combat against your nemesis. An evolving nemesis! Uh, confront a, po a, power a powerful creature that evolves and changes every time you confront it. Unreal Engine 5! <laughs> Why is this making me laugh so much? Oh, okay. So, Steam Deck ready to play. Intense boss battles. Control the Earth. This just feels like an advertising for Unreal Engine 5, to be bluntly honest. But uh, we'll see how we get on. Engage in physics-based combat. Here's the laws of the game world. Immersing you in a heightened sense of realism. Strategic thinking becomes paramount as you adapt to constantly shifting challenges. Navigating a world where every action and reaction is governed by a principle of physics. It's not just a game, it's an exploration of survival instincts in an environment where the line between fantastical and tangible blurs seamlessly. Brackets with Unreal Engine 5. Oh, and this gripping journey... The synergy between compelling narrative, innovative gameplay mechanics and state-of-the-art technology offers an unprecedented gaming experience <laughs> using the full power of Unreal Engine 5. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Uh, Horror Tales of Wine is still on our to-be-played list. I'll get it eventually, but it's on the to-be-played to play list. Um, but yeah, um, let's, uh, let's go see if this game does do what it says to do and... Um, Let's see if it plays up the uh, the joy of Unreal Engine 5 with uh, Brendo here. Uh, new game. Compiling shaders on first load. He looks a little bit awkward there. Oh, there he is. Full profile. This is apparently a fast, a fast platinum on PS. All right, okay. I mean, it does look interesting. As I said, there wasn't, not to downplay it, but there wasn't that much else um, new stuff on um, Steam after the ones we played earlier in the week. Um, I do have, uh, there's one other one that's about the same length as this one, from what I can tell, uh, and there's two shorter ones. 
So should we should be able to get through the hopefully get through all four of them tonight. I'm intrigued to know how this one is because it looks like it'll either be really good or it'll be absolutely fucking terrible. So we'll um we'll have to wait and see. <laughs> doggo Of course there's doggo. Haunted doggo. Haunted doggo friend. Oh, and we're back to, to him. Radioactive face go. Okay. Oh, there's a, is that a building next to some forest and some fire. What's the sort of green uh, plus in the middle? A pharmacy or something. Uh, there's a, a door with a blood stain. This game allows you to act with extreme violence in certain situations. However, you need you will never be required to harm innocent beings in order to progress. You can disable the damage you receive. Uh, on the other hand, if you want a wild experience, you can remove all texts and interference by activating the immersive mode. You'll find these settings more in the accessibility menu. I'm just fine as it is. I don't need to change any settings. If I hit mute or something, I've just got no sound. 76 concluded yielding a lamentable outcome. Failure. Commencing section 77. Resident. Iceland. Why has Iceland got Endeavor time. kanji? Two years. Marked by solitude and longing. 41 years searching later. That's a, a line I never thought I'd read. found in Q12. Beggar found in Q12. Status, screwed. Beggar battle slots. Almost totally screwed. Plan to transfer Beggar to the lab devised. His aid shall be deemed indispensable. That ensnare the beggar must be promptly terminated. Okay. The beggar is waking up. Time to fuck off. <laughs> Time to fuck off, indeed. Right stick for Tate. Well, I don't have sticks. I have uh, PC and uh, PC and mouse, keyboard and mouse. meant to run away oh okay well, that wasn't obvious I can't open this door oh I can but it's locked oh I'm back here again okay oh that poor skeleton he was trying his best but he's just been crushed by a door in a few hours a humanoid called Morvin Will assault you due to exposure to the toxic Ban Benaidbosk wine. You are safe for now. Morvin is a product of your imagination. I, I genuinely friend, if I had gonna have something in imagination, I would not call it Morvin, but okay. Uh, giving it a name helps it shape it when the inevitable confrontation begins in the future. Go out to the air dock next to your cell and look for my next missive. I know, if only it would tell us what engine this was, then we could, like, you know, look into it ourselves. But alas, we're never gonna know. We'll have to just hope one day someone tells us. 
Why did that most just knock itself out on the wall? Oh, there's a, a movable wall. Okay. Bear! Oh, we can't pick up the bear. Okay. Uh, there's a hole in the wall. Do we... Oh, fuck, I'm going upstairs now. <sighs> At least they finally got a place for that bookshelf. Salvation echoes above. Does it now? Does it now? The monster in the ba in basement is real. Of course it is. The basement murmurs secrets. What, what can I interact with there? Ah, door. Oh. Well. Well, quite. Okay. Oh, we've knocked everything over. Okay. Okay, well I guess we're just gonna run this way. I should probably should have been done shouts and shit out, shouldn't I? Oh, I haven't even done um, put that up yet. Apologies. This is what happens when it's just me. Um, I tend to forget to do things. There we go. Let's pin that up. And let's do some shouts for the wonderful Cammy. And equally wonderful Mr. Click. Now then, no, oh well, it's fine. Well, thank you all for being here as ever. Let's see everything. Else. So, it's a really small valves there. It's tiny valves. Got the tiny, tiny valve. I want to see the tiny valve. Why is there? Okay. Telekinesis, so you too can drink wine while not needing to use your hands. Wine of wonders, sip and wonder. Okay, well. There's a reason I devoted long years to seeking you. Such prolonged exposure to toxic Bani de Bosk wine not only means you hallucinate Morvan, but also certain facilities. We need them to win the war. For the moment you direct your focus, extend your hand, cause that box to levitate in order to proceed. Oh, for the moment, direct your focus, extend your hand, and cause that box to levitate in order to proceed. You can grab objects, you can use objects to reach places you wouldn't before. You will only want to pick up medium or large objects. Where from? Which box is it referring? Oh, this box. Up, I can only like slide it along the floor. Uh, where does it want me to, to use it? God, we have to take objects that I have to just like drop them in a particular way to. I have to drop them in a particular way, I think. It's not the way we came. Yeah, this is the way we came. 
It won't be this way. Oh, is it that way? Okay, right, well. We'll, uh, we'll just go over there, then. Okay. Now, the door's locked. Needs key. Oh. Oh well. Um. Is the key like hanging somewhere? Oh, there's a. Fuck's sake, I'm blind. There's a fucking passage here. Sorry for my rude language, beggar. I have a brain tumor. My politeness module got fried by the motherfucking sun. Of course it did, friend. I shall gradually introduce you to the powers you have little by little, and just absolutely necessary, nece just the absolute necessary ones, the next of which is your capacity to levitate distant objects through the concentration of hand gestures. You can attract objects that are far away once they're close to you. If they're large or medium size, you automatically pick them up. Drop that. No, oh, I dropped that as well. Uh, okay. Magic. Let's oh, put girl strikes again. Okay. Well. Why there's like a single roll of toilet paper there? I don't know. But oh well. Where the fuck are we going from here? Or is it? I I don't really understand. I think that's sealed off. I think it was me to go over there. Right, okay. Well, come on then, boxes. Come on, box friends. We're going on a small trip. No, I don't want one of you, I want all of you. I can't help but think it would have been faster if you just let me, you know, pick them up. Rather than having to do this weird fucking hovering game, but okay. So right, okay. Well, I'm up here now. Is that what you wanted? Yeah, okay, it seems so. What is that? Very strange. Uh, brown air. Some fire effects. I wonder what engine this is that uses such good fire effects. Those boxes are too heavy. You have to drag them along the ground with your mind. Yes, hello, friend. Well, he's went that way, which means we probably want to go the other way, right? A trike. Oh, we can carry a trike around. Amazing. We should do that. The carry a trike around. You can possess the ability to propel objects at extraordinary velocities, capable of causing destruction or harm. This necessitates my caution and distance, for I cannot entrust you due to your hallucinations. Uh, if you release a charged object, you will throw at high speed, use this to damage enemies or break certain structures. If you hold a charged object for a while, you will start to take damage until you die. Okay. Oh, left shift is charged. Hang on. Pick it up. Charge. Oof. Okay. Well, we can throw a bike through some walls now. Or 
back here again. Hang on, where's my bike? Where's my bike? Come on, bike friend. We're gonna go do some danger. Oh, oh no, it's fine. Bike friend has survived. Come on, bike friend. Come, bike friend. More things to destroy. Boff! No? Okay. You are smarter than you look. No, I'm not. Continue onward, my dear dysfunctional beggar. No, I need my bike. One, one bike friend, we need to. We need to do this together. I can't see where I'm going. Oh there's, oh, there's another bike here. Oh, that's fine. Well, you can be friends with the other bike for now, friend. Oh, until we have to throw it through the floor. There we go. Right. Horse bike. Same. <gasps> horse friend! Oh, we've got the horse friend with us as well. Um, this is going to be bad, this is going to be trying to transport like four different things through every fucking part of the game. Anyway, that's it. Right. Oh, where's my, where's my bike and horse friend? Bastard game, you've stolen my bike and my horse friend. Oh, we're in this fucking bathroom. Of course we are. Remember, as you face Morvan, dispatch him with whatever means at your disposal. Regrettably, I'm unable to lend you my aid. He's a mere creation of your own psyche. We know this happens to other others de de uh, decades ago, during the toxic with uh, during sorry the toxic wine hallucination crisis. The toxic wine hallucinations crisis. Nope, it doesn't get easier to read the second time. The sole remedy is confront him or meet one's demise. Okay, well, can I, what can I throw? I'm going to throw the bin at him? No. Um. It's not back here because there's nothing else. Back here. Door's not locked. That door can't be locked, it's lying open, it can't be locked. It's blocked, maybe. Oh, hang on. Oh, I can grab this table. Okay, I thought that was going to do more. Uh. Go this way? No. Where? Okay, it's not that. That way. What am I meant to be doing? This, is, this has got to have more of a of, an, of a straightforward answer than than me trying to destroy a wall with a table. Oh, hang on. Oh, I can get... Oh, see. See, this is why I'm not observant. I don't notice this shit. Surely a chair is a large to medium item. Can we not take a chair with us? That'd be great. Then we could hurl at things and have a sit down. Left shift run. 
Why do I want to run? I've got, I've got a perfectly good table I can hurl at things. Teria rota castiago divino adios mundo corbrabo. What the fuck that means? It's repeated again. Now that's quite the showman look to the burnt corpse. Um, right. Ah, there's, there's, there's damaged floorboards. Where's my table? Come on, table. Nope. Nope, not that either. Nope, not there either. Right, what the fuck do you want me to do? What the fuck do you want me to do? Pecamos tanto quidos rampoyo la terra. Why is there footprints on the, on the fucking walls? Why is there a fan in that corner? Why am I asking these questions? I'm not going to get any answers. Aha! This was one of those weird run backwards and you get the answer style things. Alright, give me a table. So I need to, to charge with this, to go down with it. There we go. Right. My table friend has been put through as well. Right, come on, table friend. Oh, there's another. This is our destination. Beneath these totally stable skyscrapers, I maintain an underground laboratory. From there, I can cure your hallucinations and establish contact with those who reprogrammed me to facilitate your salvation. Regrettably, our path is not linear, as the world is fragmented into kilometer long pieces. The exact cause of the rupture remains elusive. Though we harbour suspicions it was the Vandible Swine played a role. Hmm. I see. Well, let's drop that off the edge. Don't need to go very far. Goodbye, table friend. You, I don't know where you went, but okay. Oh. Am I just throwing furniture off the edge now? Apparently. Ah, oh, there's a door there. Well, that's nice. Oh, fuck. Uh. Oh. Okay. Well, I guess we're going. Around here. Um, oh fuck! I jump. I jumped over the box there. Move the move the pallet. Come on. Both of them this turn, or just the one? Just the one. Okay. Oh, hang on. I need both of them. So I can do this one. 
There we go. Need that to do that, to do that. Okay. I guess we do the same here. That's on both. No power there. So let's look further round. Can't see because there's no torch. Aha! Right. Oh, it's a hole down. Okay, there we go. That was easy enough. Uh. Oh, I can move. Oh, I can crouch. Okay, cool. I really was the most obvious. Uh, Crouch spots in the world. There's another one here. Okay. So that's definitely a way out. This does nothing more than just let me come out here. Okay. Right, okay. off as well. Right, okay, so this is much more of a um, walking sim than I was expecting. I was expecting a little bit more... Um... You're in proximity to Australia. There, I shall impart knowledge of a magnitude akin to that of a formidable brain cancer. See ya. What? What? Oh, we're taking the plane with us. I think a wedge. Um, okay, can we, um, can we move shit? Oh, there's a destroyable wall. Fuck sake. Right, where's our plane? Come on, plane. We're going places. Wow. Right. Where do I need to take my plane next? Oh, there's a, a blue smoky hole there. I assume that's where I need to go. You also possess the capability to illuminate through hand gestures and better concentration. You need a breathing flashlight. Darkness shall not stop you from now on. Press left mouse button to illuminate. Oh, for fuck's sake, really? I can, oh, I can also illuminate and carry my plane friend. Okay, well, I'm doing that then. Wow. Right. We have a plane. Far away. I've got to find some fuses or a spare. Stealing fuses from what I have, or okay, I guess I'm finding fuses then. Oh, hang on. There's there's one here. Okay, so they sort of shine through the walls. All right, well, I guess we're just looking for them now. Even though they're, I wouldn't say they're medium or large size. Unlike everything else that's claimed to be. Oh, there's the third one there. Did you just steal my fuse, friend? Why have you stolen my fuse? I need that. It's my fuse. 
Where's he gone? Oh, there he is. Uh, let's throw this box at him. Let's throw a tire at him. Oh, he's over there. A floorboard close sign now. No. Uh, can I throw? A, oh, I throw a can of propane at him. That's gonna always go well, right? Where are you? Get killed? No, no, we're still alive. For what we get for trying to throw a can of propane at him. Why can't I pick up this barrel? Oh, there we go. Where's Vendo? Where's Plane? Oh, I was going to throw a Plane Friend at you. And a solidarity between us and Plane Friend. I can't move. You've wedged me to the wall. Press any key. Okay. Oh, this is him stealing my fuse back. Um, okay. Uh, let's pull this tire around. behind us. I'll throw a chair at him. Oh, apparently we've defeated him. I hope we haven't lost plane friend. I feel really bad if we've lost plane friend because that's like, we start the thing. Where did he throw the last um, the last one we picked up? It's a weird one so far. Do we not have to turn anything on? Do we just have to go back to the thing and now it magically works even though it's still orange? Oh, we've lost plane friend. God damn it. Where's our plane friend? What's this? It's a hole. Whee! Those boards are, um... Oh, I just clicked them to take them off. Okay, well... Forgive me for trying to have fun with your game. Uh, there's a key. Keep object. Oh, there's a pan. We can't throw the pan at people. Nobel Prize would award the scientist who discovered origin of the Van de Bosic wine 
ever since Xavier Roig, the student of the heroic Albert Roig during the wine, pa wine pandemic of two centuries ago, and his team a few months ago discovered that the toxicity of wine actually came from a unique type of metallic moss. The scientific community took it for granted that they would win the Nobel Prize, and to no one's surprise, they did. The team discovered that the moss, brackets harmless in na uh, natural amounts, grows under the Earth's surface and managed to get close to the roots of the bibolic vineyards. It was then the roots absorbed the properties of the moss. Then in the cellar, it matured and expanded microscopically inside the wine, thus enhancing its properties until the first bottles were opened decades later. Roy dedicated the award to his great-great-grandfather and, uh, and assured that the few weeks the first primary results of the, of the metal moss study were to be released to the world. He announced that the results were to revolutionise the field of neurology. I mean, if you told anyone that drinking wine would solve your brain problems, most people would be very happy with you. Most people would be like, fucking hell, I'll get to drink wine and have a brain? That'd be great. Apparently, in the ancient war of wine versus window, f sorry, wine, a uh, box versus window frame, box uh, didn't win. Oh, I forgot we can lighten things up with our and and make boxes follow us. Wonderful. two ways it could potentially have this go. One is up there, but there's nothing else to go from up there. Uh, and the other one is across here. Yeah, it's across here. Pull these off. There we go. Why the fuck are we in Australia now? My dear albino beggar. Oh, he's in the shade. the shadows to unburn. If only that works. van over there. I'm dying of thirst. I was driving my van home to my house in Broken Hill after taking the paint to a construction site and suddenly another one of those blinding green lights came flashing on. The biggest one I've ever seen. I don't quite know what to express what came next. But the world is shattered into pieces of so trapped in this one. I don't recognise any of the places near me. There's nothing in Australia like this, so I have to try and look for help. But I'm trapped, no food, almost no water. I hear the desperate cries of people who have been trapped in other places. It's impossible for me to cross. I will either fall into the void or die of thirst. I also pray to God that my wife and children will be alright. I see. Hmm. 
Where are we going from here? Over there? I'm following you, friend, so I'm assuming you know where you're going. somewhere. Well, that's frightened. Well, I'll see I'm going that way. The red bolter has gone, therefore I must be fine. No, I'm burning again. Your dexterity with hand gestures rotates the earth's crust. What? Use this power with caution as only those necessary as such drastic changes wreak havoc on the rest of the animals and humans on the planet, including those in, those of us fighting the war against the cursed biometal. Cross the desert using this skill and reach the illuminated windmill to follow your path. I'm sorry, what? You can change the time of day at will. The desert heat will burn you if the sun is high. Look up or down to select a new time. That's what we want to do. And I'm running to that thing over there. Kind of confused. Kind of confused. Kind of confused. This is a lot more of a walking sim and not very much of a horror, if I'm bluntly honest, but... Okay, I suppose it's the horror of the dystopia. What could be more dystopic than oblivion? There's a windmill!
prior to fracturing the world, you were a beggar. The extent of our knowledge concerning your past, the form, the level individual incarcerated you, and commercial experimentation upon involving the wine in you, forecasting the entire process on the internet for amusement. The green lights started flashing everywhere, and the whole world broke while humanity lost the war against the biometal. Sometime, sometime later, I was hacked and sent you to find you. It only took me 31 years. Okay. Well. Guitar! Oh, let's, let's go Elka Bong some motherfuckers. I need to go, beggar. There is something I must convey to our destination under the skyscrapers. You shall be without my oversight. Very brief. Arrivederci. Arrivederci. Oh, my guitar! Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Say. Looks like noon sunrise, noon sunset, something. Hang on, can I get back up to have a look? Yeah. Right, it's noon sunset, sunrise, sun, noon. So I want to go sunset, something to. to uh, in again. Okay. Not move. Um. I guess night time then. moving now. Thank you. 
not what I was expecting, but okay. Okay, so it just seems to be like make it a time of day, then make it night time for it to all click together. For fuck's sake, friendo, this is not the time for you. I don't have, I don't know. Oh, I can just run. Okay. Or I can just loop him. Oh, okay, well, I guess I'm looping you then. For fuck's sake, friendo. Oh, it's locked. Oh. Um. Assume I'm not going over there. Maybe I am. Uh. Well, I assume this one's going in a walk somewhere. So. No, this one doesn't move. Okay, well I guess we'll try... That's the bit we were on earlier. Isn't it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was. Okay, well, we're going up here now. Locked with the key. Well, fuck. So I meant to have found a key somewhere. Oh, hang on, there's a note here. Nothing good on the other side. I've walked the door. We're looking for food. But they are aggressive. They start attacking us after some humans hurt them. They have killed everyone little by little. Uh, and just mortally wounded me. I didn't want to hurt them, but we couldn't stand still either. We regretfully killed a couple. We're not evil creatures. There are too many of them. They act out of pure instinct and survival. There's nothing here. Okay, so I guess we just go back then. Um. No, not noon. Oh, we're at, at noon. Noon, noon. We're already at noon, so it'll be sunset.
My rock doesn't move. Okay, well, let's do make then. Off we go. Does this go? Noon. Big bell. A key. Okay. Oh, I see. I need to go back to. Um, I see. I need to get back over there now. Okay. Um, how do I do that? I don't know if there's any time that there was higher than this. So. Hmm. Let's make sure there's nowhere on this island that needs a key door before we take it and run. Sunset. Nothing moved. Alrighty. Nicked. Can I get up on the roof? I don't think I can. Um, If we want to get back up there, we need to be on the roof of this, so... Maybe we can jump onto the roof from up here. Ha! Oh, well, there's this one. Oh, let's go night. I assume you're going back over there. Much, as I said, much more of a puzzle game than I was expecting. Yeah, when you call it horror tales, I was expecting it to be, you know, a bit more. Yeah. Noon. Fat to put through one door. One second. I'll check something.
Um, okay. Why can't I run? Why am I walking so slow? Why can't I jump? With you, we can cause an, an everlasting night upon our adversaries, therefore preventing them from replenishing their energy from the sun. That's one reason we need you. The other will be revealed as the need arises after the hospital. After the hospital? What hospital? Are we going to the hospital? I suppose that's what the green cross over there is, isn't it? Let's see, well, how do we get back over there? Sit back over there. How do we get over there? Um, oh, I was, I was, was I crouched? I was crouched, but I couldn't run or jump. I feel like I just jumped that, can I? Yeah. Fire. Fire. Ow. And uh, what? Okay, well, we'll be at the moment. Let's go, noon! Noon! And jump around that tree. Jump up there. And over there. Can I move you? No. Can I move you? No. Hmm. Alright. Knife me. See the big bit of rock just fucks it off at night, doesn't it? Okay. I suppose that is easier to get around if the big fuck off piece of rock just fucks off at night. Right, okay, what have we got? Sunset. Something. Oh, oh fuck. Fuck, falling off again. I fell off the world again. Right, uh, noon. Ah. Ow. Fell off the rock. Oh, I, I think I survived. I survived. What you can really ask for, isn't it? Sunset.
running, 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 around again back to this part of the game right okay how is a power lead over here Noon for the solar panel. Noon for the solar panel. Right. Back around. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Ow. Oh well. Uh. How do I open this door? How do I open this door? Okay, so you weren't a I thought that you were related to the sun being away, but apparently not. I guess we'll bring it back. Jesus, that's right. Oh. There we go. Fuck's sake. It was something just really simple. Small switches. Small switch. Oh fuck, the thing's moved away. Oh fuck. Okay, well, it's fine. We'll uh, we'll find a way around it. I assume this is what it wants me to do. Mess. Um, then even then, if I get back there, what's it gonna do? How do I get up there? Can I just make this sunset and do that? Can I do full night? But can I change it now? Find a way to enter the hospital. I've done that now. I think I got away with that kind of uh, penny machine use, but oh well. It's not that. Is it round here? Could be. There's a 
Big Friend there. Just because Big Friend went in that direction doesn't mean that's where we need to go. But probably is. Motherfucker. Oh no, hang on, we're past where we went to be. This is the... Yeah. We could definitely throw something through. Do, 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 do. What's down here? Hmm. That has a feeling of. Uh, Okay. Not that. Am I meant to be trying to go along this edge, maybe? No. Um, I do not know what the fuck it wants me to do. Is this another time changing thing? I don't know what the fuck it wants me to do. Because it's not fairly obvious. This is a way to get back up into the sort of vent system. I assume it's not just stack some shit up and try and climb over it.
Can I affect the flaps? I think I can, but I don't know why I'd want to. Hey, hello. Um, I don't know, because like, the things under here I can stack to get kind of under there, but it's... It's not really letting me get up and in. It's sort of jamming me in this, uh, under that. Can I move them out of the way? Is that what it wants me to do? Let's do that. Shout for that's what I isn't. How you been anyway, man? Been a lot. Been a while. I think I've cat just rolled over on my thing. Been locking in a couple of your streams, not been really talking much, but it's been good to, good to see you in chat. What is, is this and why is it just... Why is this the way it is? Can I do it any further up than that? No. Just make them randomly flat, but I don't know what the fuck point of that is. Welcome back folks, hopefully that's the ads uh, finally done. I don't know if it wants me to just... I don't know what the fuck it wants me to do. I can try, as I, was, as I said, I can try and stack stuff up here, but it won't let me get up into the... into this next bit. what this one wants me to do. Right, is that uh, in a couple of hours that goes live? So I can get there. I don't... I, hmm. Hopefully it will be as good as everyone hopes it is. It is Elden Ring after all, it probably will be. want me to do. Three hours of PC? Ah, fair enough. It'll still, it'll still be a... Hopefully it'll be a relatively um, seamless, uh, seamless launch. They seem to have got quite good at the... at knowing how to... Um, I think, they, I think they expect how many players are going to come on for it. There's going to be a lot of people on for it. But what the fuck does this want me to do? Well, Elden Ring, I love Elden Ring. I have, um... I think I've done all the endings apart from um, Frenzied Flame. And I literally, the only reason I haven't done that one is because me and Mia forgot we had to do that. 
And then we were like, oh, we should do that. And then realized we were like, no, we've only got like two hour, two days before the new one comes out. We'll just do it as the ending for the deal, the new DLC. But I'm looking forward to it. It'll be good. It'll be fun. I probably won't stream it, but I'll probably play it offline. Like heavily play it offline. What do these do? What are these weird flaps and how do I get past them? Yeah, it, it's um I think a lot of folk because they're they only seem to be doing one DLC, I think a lot of folk are preparing for it to tie up so much more uh more storylines and I think they said they're, add they're adding more uh, more starting classes and stuff so again that'll give more replayability it is looking fun can you I don't think so one of the things I can do is I've got these I can hold them like that I can make them wiggle, I guess. Make them do that. This is about all I can make them do. But I can't put, like... Break them off with something? No, nope, can't do that. Hmm. There must be something I am missing. Everything else has been relatively straightforward, there must just be something I'm missing. Do I need to do with these flaps? Even if I could freeze them, I don't think I'd get past them. Must be another way around it. Nothing in any any of these. No, nothing in there. Nothing in that one. Nothing in there. Nothing in that one. Nothing in there. Nothing in there, nothing in there. Nothing at all. If I get back up there it would be something, but I can't seem to work out how I do that because I can't get through this wall. There's nothing here is movable. Hmm. I can change it to sunset, maybe that'll do something. maybe go along this ledge. But I get a bit there then I fall through. So it can't be that. Jump or crouched. What the fuck does it want me to do? Am I just missing the really obvious? That is likely. 
am I just missing the really, really obvious? Struggle to yeah, I I think that was that was in the um that was when they just they just showed off at the Xbox uh, event, didn't they? Looks interesting. Maybe it wants me just to use something like this. Some interesting water effect. Um, I, I guess it has. That'll be a far easier solution than what I'm looking at. There's got to be a far easier solution than what I'm looking at. It can't be this. Oh, hang on, I'm about to make a bridge with this. Is this how it works? Motherfucker. Motherfucker. Ah, uh, all right. This is one of those games where you've got to look around and just find the one thing it wants you to use. this a bit there we go back up No power. All right. Well, we've got to find this time. Dog. Doggo friend. Doggo friend. Hello, doggo friend. Hello, doggo friend. Oi. That's that doggo friend. Throw a wheelchair at you. Yeah, that's right. Go 
Marvel friend, you've got to understand, I don't want to throw a wheelchair at you. But if I have to, I will. Taco friend, this is not the time. This is not the time to be beating me up. What the fuck are you? Are there more than one of you? Is that why I'm getting so beaten up? Taco friend, this is not. This is not the time. It's not the time to be beating me up. I don't like how inconsistent my uh, my light source is. Fuck. Double friend, could you stop attacking me please? I'm just trying to turn the power on. I'm sorry, Puffer, but you need to learn. You can't just randomly like beat me up all the time. Right. Um, okay. It's a lie. Right, okay. Well, now we've fixed. I guess we have to go down to that, that door and then look at the power, I guess. behind you. Oh, a swimming section. Marvellous. Everyone always wants. dangerous wine trip around in Russia. The wine trip fad that emerged in the United States among children in the filthy rich has reached Russia. The practice of wine trip consists of a level up after obtaining a bottle of toxic banabonosic wine for astronomical prices and ingesting it in a controlled manner to promote new neural connections after overcoming deadly hallucinations. The practice began to spread since Xavier Roig's 
team showed the world the ingestion of large quantities of metallic moss trapped in wine crate and wine creates brackets after hallucination reinforced neural uh, connections in tone with the earth's own magnetic field Rogue's team believes that it is possible to create neural connections between humans and CPUs effectively thanks to this. The United Nations is expected to ban the practice until the lab test by Roig and his team, whose work is still in the preliminary stage, is completed. Let's see. Key about. Oh, it's not going over there. We could jump that, that's fine. But you can't, apparently, can't do light while uh, underwater. That did sound like a bone snap. Oh, there's friend again. Fine moving water particles in, in the air cause huge storms that will flood everything upon arrival in the subterranean laboratory beneath the skyscrapers and your subsequent healing we shall employ this ability to corrode the ranks of the biometal hordes. Create the skies clear or rain suit your needs when it rains, parts of the environment get flooded. JD. Yeah, it would be very helpful if we had that power. How's it going anyway, JD? How's things? What are you up to?
Getting car inspected? Ah, fair enough. Hopefully it's a... Oh, fucking... Go waste for a second there. Flood the place again. Yeah, the PC towers can uh, be very warm at times. This is what we to do. Okay, there we go. If we jump back up here. I don't think. Oh, this is a fucking button there. Oh, damn it. I have served your hallucinations in more of an intent to diminish between the clarity of the skies. Should you count difficulties in misty conditions, consider dispersing the haze. Naturally, this will facilitate more effective monitoring on my part. The fog make your hallucinations invincible to damage. Use your powers to clear the skies and be able to damage the hallucinations when the fog appears. I see. This is 
much, as I said, this game has been much more of a walking sim than I expected. Like a walking sim puzzle game than a horror game. Hello, friend. Oh, he's got fucking puffers with him as well. God damn it, friend. There is doggos. They're very enthusiastic doggos, sadly. Not in a good way. I haven't done shit for GD, that's true. I think I, I one for Cami, one for Click, and one for Haddo. Okay. You're gonna shout at them again, it's all good. I have nothing to, to show, throw at you, friend. No, I don't want night, I want rain. I don't want to throw a barrel at you, but I have to. Right, where's the where's the bloody barrel gun? There it is. Oh, he's gone thingy again. Where are you, friend? Oh. my barrel gun. Ah, you just right. Ah, fuck it. Friend, just let me get my barrel. Oh, fuck's sake, friend. Where's my barrel going now?
Brendo, could you just not? Where's he going now? Where are you, Brendo? Gone now. Where, no, where are you? Oh, there he is. He's beating me up. We defeated them in the burning forest by throwing some barrels on. Patching the floor, patching the floor. managed to screw himself. Use your neck to look up beggar. The beggar trapping himself here was not the plan. The beggar can't progress since my assistance. Seeking a solution to unscrew the beggar. Electric solution found. Fortunate bastard. I completed the other task and came here just three minutes ago. Sunset. All right. Running around.
Right, and then we're over here. Now we're probably good. Got another, yeah, got another uh, thingy panel, which means we need to go back to the sun. Rain again. Rain, rain, rain. Some of these floating blocks will move at night. It is. If only that we could all have the power to turn on rain and move gigantic blocks with our mind. Live in a far different world, but we'd still object to people turning on the brain all the time. Okay, now. How are you doing, Cassie? Here's a video on the show. Reached the cave. jump up there. What am I missing? Am I just not doing the right angle or something? No, no, no. Don't need to go that way. Fapper! Hello, Fapper. God, that slow turning is is something. Oh, I need to get in there. Okay. Bed, proper friend, a spare arm. Oh. 
perhaps it wasn't standing on the exact point for it to fall to the ground. Dog old friend. Where the fuck do we go from here? Hello, friend. Friendo, I'm stuck in that small corridor. I can't really run away from you at this point. Or was that hole just to knock me down this hole? And knock me inside here and just beat me up? Okay. Well. Well, quite. It takes me quite a long time to charge up to throw something, friend. It takes you a lot less time to just walk up to me and punch me. What the fuck am I stuck on now? Oh, so there's one hit I need to do. Oh, well, that's enlightening. Oh, no, no, he's back. It's the snowman, only he's a glowing green skeleton. And now we can throw fireballs. Wonderful. I can throw a smoke plastic box at your friend. Will that do? Or a traffic cone. Everyone fears the traffic cone. Messed him. I missed him with my pathetic traffic code box combo thing. Barrels! Barrels are far more impactful, right? Come here. Where are you? I throw a barrel at you. Where have you gone? You throw a barrel at you, where have you gone?
Get back here. Got a barrel to hit you with. Clipped him in the knee with a barrel. Where's he gone? Ah, fuck, he's... He's using his ability to actually be good at fighting. Where the fuck has he gone now? I can't really see very well because I'm holding this fucking barrel. Oh. He's over there, apparently. Well, where's... I can throw this box at you. Have a box. Ah, oh, tits with my box gone. Lost my box. It's been on a barrel around somewhere. Barrel! Where now, where's he? Oh, he's over there. Fuck. Oh, he just stabs me in the shoulder as he glances past me. What a dick. What a dick. Where is he? Fuck's sake. Takes so fucking long to. I'm dead. Takes so fucking long to charge a fucking barrel throw at him. Got a small shoebox, that'll do really well against him. Or it would if he hadn't just annihilated me with a laser blast. No, I can't throw a rock at him, that'd be far too dangerous. I'd have to throw fucking. Shoe boxes and barrels at him. Ha! Boxes! Right, okay. Ah, oh, he popped up. You fuck, that's my back of my fucking box! Oh, I'll get shot control lead, son. Shop before they go. Could you stop smacking my keyboard with your tail, please? Where's my trolley gone? Trolley! Fantastic, we'll fucking throw a bollard at him. When we can see him. I can't fucking see him because I've got to hold the giant thing in my front of my face. Right, hang on, where is he? Yeah, you're taking the piss now, friendo. Lost my ball out. Uh, let's change the day. Let's make it sunny. Should be able to see him and stuff to throw better. 
I say that. He's neon green. I hope it's harder to spot him. Where are you, friend of? Maybe night time would have been easier, now I think about it. Where are you, friend of? Ah. Fuck's sake, give me back my... Where are you? Are you over there? I need my fucking thing to throw at you. Where have you gone? Where have you gone? Are oh, you over there? All right. Where is he? How the fucker? He keeps catching it just before I can like launch it at him. Problem is I can't hold down the button. Think because I just start taking damage. I'm doing that. So I have to kind of vaguely time it to where he's where I can see him. Otherwise I just die. Or something like that. Yeah, 30 seconds. No. It's currently 20 seconds. Nobody's gone. Yeah, I'm just going to have to run up to him with this when I find him. Rather than being able to do anything because he's just. He's just fucking me up. Gone. Who's over there? I think somewhere. Yeah, there he is. I can't throw bollards that far, friend. Where have you gone? Why can't I pick this up? And I can't charge the throw fast as fast as you want to run at me. Motherfucker. Pick up the thing. Where is he shooting from this time? You know how that feeling that there must be an easier way to do this and you're just doing it wrong? That's happening a lot right now. Because I don't think the mu must want me just to throw things at him when he can move that fast and it takes me that long to fucking charge up. Yeah, hey blocks. I, I don't, I don't understand it, right? Because it takes, I, I can't shoot things really far. I've got like a limited distance I can shoot. 
the fuck? And he does charge at me. But I can't see him for the object I'm holding. And then when I can see him, he just smacks me before I have a chance to charge up in time. Because I take damage if I'm charging something for too long. It does have a very poor design feel to it. I can't see a fuck damn thing of where he is while I'm trying to do this. Right, it's over there. Can't charge it up in time. Is he coming back over? I think he is. So charge. There we go. Finally hit him. Finally fucking hit him. Right. Clear sky. now. He's over there, right. I have to clip him in the ankle once there. Right, so once again... What are you pick up this wheel. I can't even pick up this wheel. Uh, Alright, well I guess the wheel's not what I need to pick up then. Painton. No, nope, not close enough. Oh, he's made it thingy again. Uh, clear sky. Right, okay. Nope, I can't pick the wheel up. The wheel doesn't work. I can't do anything because he just smacks me before I can charge anything. Where's he gone? He's over there, right. Uh, he's gone back to fog again. Right. Back to noon. Right, where the fuck is he this time? Where the fuck is he? I can't see him for the fucking box I'm holding. He's over there, right. Again, couldn't charge up in time. Where the fuck's my box? Right, got my box. Where's he? He's over there. Missed him by a mile. Trusty Bollard. I need to put it back to smoke it, which means you can't damage him. Uh, which guy? Right. 
Why have you dropped? Why have you dropped the bollard? Pick the bollard back up. Okay, I think I hit him. Side of a whiff. Oh, there's doggos as well. I don't, I don't want to throw boxes at the doggos again. I feel bad enough doing that the first time. That was the final battle. Now what the fuck do I do? Okay. I don't understand what this means I need to do. Um Yeah. What's it say I'm near in the cave? Fishing deck. Blue hole cave waterfall bird observatory. Okay, um, I'll, I guess I'll go this way then. Am I going back over here? Some big trees. Can't change the day anymore, so I'm assuming that I'm actually done. What's this? A crunky wrist. Um, this is the fishing deck. Okay. So I guess I want to go to the waterfall. Want to keep going this way? I guess. Scene or are meant to be moving? Yep. Well, we can look around with the mouse. doing that. Change down here. Oh, rain. Yeah, of course, rain. Okay. 
Bendo's over there. You are almost there. Our goal is under those totally safe skyscrapers. Oh, I fell. Oh, I fell again. I think I meant to be up there, but it saved me here when I fell. I have a horrible feeling I've walked the game again. I, I think I'm stuck. Oh no, I was going to say I think I'm stuck in a death loop. No, no, I'm not. I think I've forked this. Can I go back to previous point? I don't know. Possibly not. I may have fucked it at the last hurdle again. Now I'm stuck in a death loop. Oh, hang on. I think it wants me to get down there, so... Fuck it. Death loop. Death loop. Oh, not a death loop. Um, so I'm probably a lot further down than I should be. I meant uh, night time. I can't. I can't get up there. I can't. I can't get up there. Hang on. Yes, I have to believe that there will be a recap point. Crippled world. What have you done? Please wake up. Hang on. Thanks for waking up. We are fucked. You are breaking the world again. Hang on. I think it's put me at the actual end of the game. One second. <laughs> Chapters. The city. Okay. So let me skip to the final. Yeah, this is the bit I was. It let me skip to the final. Um final chapter even though I hadn't got to it myself. That's useful.
لا مك ان ال لا مك ان اي اجان Back we go, back we go. I don't believe you need food. I don't. So that looks like a um, solar panel door. It was. Okay, and then I train again to get past this bit. The US FBI is assured has uh, assured that the collaboration between Albert Brogue and his team they were close to there to find the whereabouts of President Becker whose ward and tortures them by force to digest huge quantities of toxic wine broadcast in the process of the internet Xavier Rogue and his team are collaborating with geomagnetic instruments created by a metallic moss to create triangulate the Becker's whereabouts they have assured it will only take days to find him it has been demonstrated to any viewer the Becker's neural connection to the Earth's magnetic field increases with each bottle of wine he's forced to ingest it is now known that the beggar's brain that causes the strange green lights and generates static electricity in their wake. The, uh, the Leviathan... is Leviathan. The Leviathan of some small objects and the desynchronization of weather uh, and days, some lasting just minutes, others lasting hundred hours, is also, is also caused by the beggar's brain. No one knows what else might happen if the wine intake continues. If authorities do not find the beggar soon, the wave of suicides will continue and rise around the world. These suicides occur mostly among religious people who believe the apocalypse has arrived. What are you doing? Hmm? What are you doing? Can you not get any sides today? Just the garlic bread, but I know you didn't you weren't a fan of it, so I just finished it. It's not when it's cold. I'm, I'm, I like it when it's warm when it's cold it hurts. Yeah, that's fine. Um right, so where the fuck are we going now? Down here? Nope, that's a death. Aha, back here. Oh, no, no, that's a death as well. That's a death as well. That moves. It moves over there. Did anything come over to us? Yes, something does. No. I don't know what the sunset options all about. Cause I understand it, so you don't have the 
the sun attacking you, but it's... I don't understand why there's not just a, you know, a moon and a sun option. A moon and a sun option. A night and a sun option. Rather than just, you know, it being just the one. Oh, what? What's the one? Why are, those, why are those not just two when the, when there's three? Is that what, that's what I meant. My brain is useless right now. Um, where are we going? to do something because of the, the door being locked. Well. Do I break green? What have you done? So Please wake up. Oh, this is the last chapter. Thanks for waking up. We are fucked. You are breaking the world again. We can still make it. Follow me. and beggar successfully delivered. Endeavor completed. If you thought I would fix and rescue you after your lunatic behavior, you are more insane than expected. Therefore, instead of healing you, I will slowly dissect what makes you so peculiar. Then we will create an improved version of you elsewhere, devoid of your dysfunctional, violent, and crazy tendencies. Sweet dreams, minder beggar. So yeah, that was um, Horror Tales the Beggar. Um, not gonna lie, it was a lot more simplistic than I was expecting. Um, I do feel there were bits like that um, that boss fight. Yeah, the robot was a dick. I do feel the bits like that boss fight where you're having to pick the thing up, find where the guy is, and then throw it at him. But you're throwing it, but he's moving around all the time. And you, it takes you time to charge up, and then you've only got a range you can hit. And you can't see him while you're holding the object like this in front of your face. So, yeah, there were some definite issues with it. Do I think it deserves what, what score do I think it, I think it's probably going to get a 3 to be honest out of 5. Um, it just, I think because it's a very this is an expensive game as well. You have to consider that with this flying cat we have here. Um, 
but touch this end and just um, but yes I think it has it has definitely some good elements I mean a, a score of a 3 would basically be if you got it and played it, you probably enjoyed it. Ended with very promising conclusions. Oh, a bit of an ending. Defeat of the biometal empire on Earth now possible. Sending results to human Martian refugees. Sleeping until new orders arrive. Story will continue in Iron Reich. I see. Oh, and it also takes me to that page as well. I've never known a game to like have an inbuilt thing where it auto takes you to the Steam page for it. Um, all right. Well, I'll guess I'll wish a wish list you. I don't imagine you'll come out for a good couple of years, considering how long it took this one to come out. But no. Yeah. But yeah, as I said, it's a solid three. There are bits that could have been a bit, bit, bit better. There's, there's, there's elements of it that could have been a bit more, um, yeah, yeah. I think it's, when you consider the price point and everything else, I think that there's a lot to be said for, for it, and most of that is that it could, it could have been a little bit better. Um, all right. Well, we have two short games. And then one more long game. So we'll get one of the short games done. Um, a or B, Mia? Yeah. B. Okay, B is this one. This is the first short one we'll be doing. I say short one, it's like an hour and a bit. Um, this is Whispering Lane. This gives you an achievement for loading up the game. Doesn't uh, feel you would read at all, does it? Um, you know what? I'm going to take a quick two minute pee break. I'm going to make sure this cat's been fed so he stops bothering me. So, yeah, I'll be back in two minutes, folks. I'm just going to run the ads um, to get them out of the way between games so you don't have to put up with them during it. Um, but, yes, I'll be back in two minutes and we will carry on from there. So, yeah, back in two. Alright, folks, we're back. Apologies, it's been a bit longer to move because my toes fucked and I can't walk as quickly. But yes, we're back. We're back with Whispering Lane. Whispering Lane. And hello, robot. How's it going? How's things? Thank you, thank you. As I said, I just, uh, about, about three days ago, I just, my, when I was taking the cat through to the room, I managed to kick a box and rest my foot went this way and my little toe went that way. And it's just been bright purple for the past two days, so it's a little difficult to walk on, but just means I hobble around a lot more. Uh, so, I Anyway, it's enough of me bitching about my life. Let's go on to this, which is Whispering Lane Horror. Which means there must be a Whispering Lane something else then. Uh, uncover the dark secrets of an abandoned house in Whispering Lane in the psychological horror game. Navigate through perilous twists where each turn reveals a blend of horror and mystery. Can you unearth the truth before darkness consumes you? I mean, <laughs> I think who we, knows? I think we need that. Uh, this came out on the 18th, so it's been out a couple of days. Uh, it's £3.20. You could buy it with the soundtrack. Sure, that's good for some people. Um, it's also part of a creepy horror bundle, apparently. Um, it's got lots of links to it. Uh, there we go. The horror game Whispering Lake. So Whispering Lane. Do I call it Whispering Lane? It is called Whispering Lane, not Whispering Lake. Whispering Lane. Takes one takes you to an abandoned house on Whispering Lane Street. Hang on. Whispering Lane Street. Surely it should just be called Whispering Lane. Or the street Whispering Lane. Uh, darkness reigns in this street, and strange noises stir unease among the neighbours. The main character, 
police officer Jackson Harrowfield, oh, he's a porn actor if I've ever heard one, is sent to investigate the, the resident's report. Soon he will uncover the secrets of the dark house. Enter the world of mysteries and danger, experiencing two amazing stories. Two amazing stories, not one. Two of them. Uh, the crazy ghost seeker from the Haunted Explorations channel and police officer Jackson Harrowfield and police officer Jackson Harrowfield uh, Ghost Seeker leads his viewers through a haunted house while Jackson Harrowfield faces his dark secrets who will survive discover how deeply rooted the secrets are and whether Ghost Seeker's courage and Jackson's determination will bring ultimate victory can you uncover the truth before it's too late cross the boundaries of fear and enter the world of Ghost Seeker and Jackson Harrowfield Ghost Seeker and Jackson Harrowfield uh, in this intense action game you must make decisions fight, flee or hide in a locker you can sneak, crawl, check the corridors anything to avoid danger will you escape, face or hide survival requires wit and courage every decision could determine your fate ready for the challenge play and see if you survive the enhanced help system provides reliable support in puzzles and difficult mo moments of the game no, I said monsters, it was moments. Difficult moments of the game with textual hints, dynamic cutscenes and standout items. You'll always know what to do. And whether you're in need you're in need in dark corridors or on the brink of doom, this system will help you with a cool head and find a way out of every situation. Okay. The survival instinct system 2.0 that conveys the character's sensation during survival when a character is injured, the system automatically adjusts the game's pace. Replicating slowing down in movement, accelerating heartbeat, making the emotions accompanying the fight for survival even more intense, and the gaming experience even more engaging. That sounds fucking dreadful. Um, take control of your adventure in game with the cutscene skipping system, known as Play With Me Escape Room. You can skip scenes at any time or wait till the cinematic ends. Allow yourself to fully immerse in the game world, discovering it at your own pace and enjoying uninterrupted action discover the story through cut <laughs> where is this going to end discover the, the story through cutscenes mysterious notes and in-game dialogues immerse yourself in the gripping narrative where each discovery reveals another piece another piece of the great puzzle can you uncover all the secrets in this fascinating world graphic text and notes with some language is translated additionally you don't have to read notes as the text is read in English, Polish, French, German and so on uh, additionally, if you press the E key by default, you can display the translation text of the note in your language. The team, the item management system recalls the spirit of the classic survival horror games. This is getting a bit ridiculous now. Uh, item bags located at strategic points allowing players to effectively store and organize their resources with them. Players can optimize their equipment, increasing their chances of survival in an uncertain and dangerous game world. The inventory in the game allows for combining items, sorting, deleting, etc. Two worlds in a game, a unique aspect of gameplay that offers players the opportunity to explore both a typical, ordinary world and a dark, frightening space covered with biomass. The first world is an abandoned house on, on Whispering Lane Street. That still annoys me. Uh, while the second world is an unknown and dangerous space full of mystery, creatures and threats, the two worlds are contrasting but interconnected spaces that create rich and multi-dimensional multi experiences for the players. The, the item viewing system is an innovative feature allowing players to examine various items available in the game in detail. I don't know why I keep reading these. There's how much... There's, uh, fuck me, there's tons of this. No, you know what? This game contains a walking simulator mode with a complete version of the game we can play with our enemies' bosses. The game will turn into a classic walking sim. Uh, I use the service to generate artificial intelligence voices for characters, so it's AI voices. Additionally, implement appropriate preventive measures to ensure the generated content is suitable and compliant with legal requirements and same standards. <laughs> Developer described the content like this. Blood. Okay. Well. I haven't changed the title yet. I'll do it now. When I get back to the top. This is Whispering Lane. Hmm? Five years later. Five years later. Uh, right. Whispering Lane. Alright, let's get into Whispering Lane and see what we get on.
I don't have a continue. Play a new game. Last Hope TM. New game. After completing the game without bosses or enemies. Very difficult enemies. Few items, weapons are weak. Enemies know how to fight. Average number of items, normal weapons. Easy enemies to defeat. More items, improved weapons. Let's go with normal. Normal's very fine. The VHS footage you're about to see comes from the Haunted Explorations channel, hosted by an anonymous streamer known as Ghost Seeker. This film circulated in the dark now for scare. several weeks and became the subject of interest to authorities after the last moments of the footage shook the entire internet. In the recording, which begins as typical exploration of haunted locations, something extraordinary happens, remaining unexplainable. The mysterious content of this film becomes the key to solving a puzzle whose answers may reach beyond the bounds of ordinary human imagination. It shook the entire internet. This is Ghost Seeker from the Haunted Explorations channel. Uh, we're just visiting another haunted house. Uh, uh, I like the fact we've, like, we've got like crushed velvet trousers. Oh, I love that. I would happily go ghost exploring crushed velvet trousers. Nothing bad could ever happen to me there. What? What's this? Let's check these haunted doors. Maybe someone will open them for us. Uh, some ghost. Unfortunately, the haunted doors are closed. I see. Find rewind tags to forward the video one of ten. Haunted Garden Cottage. Let's go in there. Oh, <laughs> we're in a haunted garden cottage. I see the number of people watching the stream increasing. Uh, Actually, it's gone down since I started this. Oh, it's like the underside of a shelf. Okay. Oh, hang on, there it is. My, my orange crushed velvet trousers must be ruined in this, in this damp. I have to run. Damn! Oh, there was something in the tunnel. It was scary. I accidentally turned off the camera. <laughs> uh, I guess nothing was. I have to run. Damn! Oh, there was something in the tunnel. It was scary. I accidentally turned off the camera. <laughs> uh, I guess nothing was recorded. I definitely won't go back to the tunnel. I have to run. Damn. Oh, there was something in the tunnel. It was scary. I accidentally turned off the camera. <laughs> uh, I guess nothing was recorded. Oh, God. Bars appeared on the window. <laughs> I think it's starting. The house probably won't let me out alive. Uh... So I can dry my my uh, my nice orange crushed velvet trousers in this heat. Oh, 
Oh, well, I know this house. This is the um, the long one with the the. That's the. I'm in the next room. There's blood in some places in the house. <laughs> Yeah, I remember this house. This is the one with um I think there's gonna be a there's a bathroom there and over there is the front door. We're going upstairs. Are we? We're going upstairs. You're not allowed to deviate from the fun it seems. I'm in the children's room. I can see the garden cottage from here. I hear strange sounds from here. Sometimes I hear strange sounds from here. When else have you been here? Oh god. Oh my god. Something ran into the last room. I'm going to check it out. I'm doing it for my subscribers. If something happens to me, call the police. Remember to give me a like and comment. Subscribe to my channel. <laughs> Residents of Whispering Lane report mysterious noises coming from one of the neighboring houses, which has been abandoned for many months. Additionally, a few days ago, someone was seen here with a camera. Meanwhile, the police are dealing with riots in the city. So Jackson Harrowfield, the only available officer, sets out alone on patrol to investigate the situation. A game created Jack, by our... Can you hear me? Oh. We received a report from residents of Whispering Lane about disturbing noises and a power outage in the entire street. Currently, all the other police officers are now busy with the riots in the city center. I understand. I'm nearby. I'll be there soon. Please note that the rest of the units are occupied in the city center, so you will be there alone. I understood. I'll let you know when I get there and assess the situation. But he's, a, he's been told that twice. What is it with these people and leaving their lights on? Don't they know their car battery will be dead? Knock on the door. Sarah, I'm here. The door's closed, and at first glance, it looks like no one is there. I'll look around the property. I understand, Jack. Try to see if you can get in legally. If not, you will have to wait for support. I hope you don't have to break down the door again. See if you can get in legally. That's a sentence that you don't really want to be heard spoken. I mean, I can understand if it was on for like a minute, but I think there's... Are they still on? No, they're closed off now. Maybe that's a... Find and place the valve here. Make it go beep. Oh, the valve's there. So... Dainty little feet. Is 
saving progress. I don't know what that is. Something. Found lockpick. Sport bag. Pure water which shows five HP when you drink it. Let's put that in storage. And the the pills. Check there's nothing else around here first. That's still sports bag, okay. We got pills, pills, pills. Do 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 do. Pills, pills, pills. Right. Um. There's a portcullis out there. Wow. Hmm? I was just in the stream radius battle where I was ranked first. Sometimes. Daily news. Breaking news. more oil another 
door key. Oh no, Jesus is getting wet. Help. Someone threw a chair down the stairs at me. Or in the child's room. It's full of gauze. So you expect from a child's room. Hello friend. This is our new house. Do you come to visit us? More hydrocodone. to find the key. Oh, on the windowsill. Yeah. Hello, friend. I'm not sure what we were doing there, friend, if you're just trying to close the door. But Gaming console? Pity a game? I got three achievements apparently for looking at that video game console. No, I say three. It's still going. It's six. I just bought Dragon Age two and three for under six quid. For the pair? Yeah. That's good. They Why is it still gone. giving me achievements? Hang on. Still giving me achievements. Picked up door key. Why is there like a fucking square in a circle in the middle of the floor here? Why is it still giving me achievements? Wait until the alphabet is done and it will probably stop. Long, long talkie. Nope, it's doing one now. Oh god, okay. One, two, one, two, three, draw. That's still going. Still going.
Two seconds. I need to know how long these achievements go on for. It goes up to 42. You were dead. I fell off the world. Residents of Whispering Lane report mysterious noise. Found it safe while I was in here. Yep, that sounds but normal. It always happens to me. I just really wanted to keep playing, yeah. I want to keep playing, but without a headache, probably. Then again, deciding to start playing it because of migraine was not the smartest decision I've ever made. I have lots of 9mm rounds, just no 9mm. I got the crowbar and the brass tile H. Hello friend. How you doing? Well, I don't have a thing to attack you with friend, so... I've got a crowbar I suppose. Where are you?
I guess we're going back in the house this way. Yeah. I imagine an axe would probably do more damage than a uh, than a crowbar. friend in here. Where are you? Hmm. I'm not really sure why it's giving me oil bottles. Oh, I only have five health. I should probably do something about that. Go finish looking upstairs. You took the rod.
Let's just go chuck all this stuff in the in the bag. I'm gonna drop. I wanted to. I want to drop. I want to store. Find and enter the mysterious brass tiles here. Oh, okay. Spam them all in then. Something X H F Z F Y. Everything's just weirdly gooey. Where is that last? Is that it? Oh, shotgun shells. Marvelous. Just what I needed. Is this last brass letter? Is that it there? No, oh, that's more ammo. Buckety dee. Where would this last brass letter be? Is that it there? Doesn't seem like it. Get the fuck up I don't. Where the fuck have I got to that? Right, well it's not there. this bathroom.
I assume then it's just going to be in that last little section. Oh, is that it there? Nope, that's more gauge shells. Fuck. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck. Tonight I embarked on another expedition for the Zoom. We've heard that one already. Right, where? Where could I find this? Final remaining brass number thing. Where is the brass number? Where oh where is the brass number? It's like on a wall, so I don't see it because I'm too busy looking down. back outside and check, but a horrible feeling it is back outside, The last bronze, bronze letter. Yeah, bronze letter. Here. Where is the stamp thing?
some jump noises. Is this last brass number? Number, letter, whatever the fuck it is. Thing. this last brass letter. Can not be expecting it to be somewhere fucking stupid now that I've not found it? Sports bag. There's nothing else in here. Did I have my meds over? Uh -huh. Is it? No, I didn't. That's probably why I'm feeling it so bad today. Two seconds, folks. No. Because I. Did all of your med stuff earlier, maybe I thought I'd uh, done mine. anything else it must be either upstairs or in that back room and there's one already in that back room so it must be upstairs somewhere it must be up here somewhere Where in the name of fuck would this last piece be? It's gonna be in the cupboard. We can't open the cupboard, so we've gotta be able to like trust we can see into wherever it is to pick it up. No, nope. not there. Not there, not there. Not that one either. I 
might be it, but no, it's just a weird, like, metallic flooring we've got here. Is this last but is this last brass layer? Seriously. We burned the house twice. I don't see it. Oh hang on. Are you a door? No, you're not a door, you're just a weird crack in the wall. was on one of the big friends that we killed. He just left it on the floor under him. that's something there but it's just the reflection on this weird um like the weird locker bit Where, oh where, is this final thing? I have not a clue, I feel like I'm just going around in circles. I'm for sure it's not upstairs now. Oh, hang on. Is that it? No, don't give me the option to pick it up if it is, so I don't think it could be. Weird motherfucker. It's not a clue where this goes. have a crowbar but I don't think it does anything. I uh, I may need some kind of epiphanemia because I have not a fucking clue what the hell I'm doing. something. Sure I saw a pickup thing a second ago. Is 
in my head. It could have just been in my head. Um, I'm like the the first part of the game is the 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 guy just looking at the house. I've done that bit. The second part is like the policeman looking at the house. I've done that bit. He goes outside again, and when he goes outside after doing the first bit, it cuts back to the bit I'm on now, which is find the six brass letters, and I can only find five of them. I'm thinking I see that goddamn sign for pickup and it's not there. So everything's so. Doesn't this say that it's cat's head? Uh. It might have been the last game. Because I'm not seeing. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was this one. The one with the 500 page. I might have done, but I'm not seeing any way to access them. Then. I found the pistol. I'm horrible. I've just missed it somehow, but I've not a fucking clue where the hell. Where the hell I've missed it? You got the Y. I'll tell you which ones I have. I have, I have, I have definitely F said. Uh, hang on. I have X, H, Z, F, and Y. I'm not gonna remember that, so I'll still be asking you when I That's see. That's fine. I will add some at the end of the week and I'll double check how many died. I'll rewatch the VODs and add them. It says yes. Yes. Oh? I don't. Yes, I've got all. I'll double check that one. Pretty sure I've got all. Sure uh, no, actually, I don't have all. Do you know why I thought I had all? Because H came up as having all. Where was it? Um, upstairs in the room that's basically next to the banister. I think I might have that one. I think I might have the one that. Hey, see, did you see all? Did you see all in his bag? All. Okay, because that might have been the one I've already got. The one straight ahead of the banister? No, right next to the banister. Hang on. Right next to the banister? Room. The room is right next to the banister. Like, straight in front of or to the side of... Oh, there's O. Oh, okay. Okay, whereabouts in this room? I might already have this one. It's literally on the sink, next to the sink. Yeah, I think I've got that one already though. Yeah, I must have got that one already. Unless I'm, it's bugged out, which is possible, but... Hmm.
Has he got the top left one yet? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't know. Okay. I'm watching this on double speed, so. I no, it's, it's appreciated. He's not. It's not like he actually looks at what when he puts it down. He just turns around immediately. Yep. So I have not had a clear shot of that. got it from? Yes, the room I just told you. It's not there for me though. I don't know what to tell you, that's how you got it. Well, wh where are the other ones that you found? That's exactly what my problem with it is. Yeah, do you, want, do you want to just send me and I'll look at it? If it's bothering you that much. I definitely have the Y, so remember that. I have a horrible feeling when I put them in there, but my bag to put in my space for the moment that they stacked up. Mine's just dead on the floor in one of the rooms. I couldn't tell you which one. Alright, let's have a quick. Let's bring this up. It's not Discord, that's Discord. Uh, the, the, the Um, right, Discord, Discord, Discord. Um, okay. Bring it back on to a second. So this is the this is someone else's video. Let's see. So he gets to about here. How long is he? Fifteen minutes in. Yeah. Okay. One and a half hour and two streams. Find it in sort of the things. He's got the pistol now. Just hang on. Let's go back a bit till he actually starts the thing. Right, okay, finds the name Mill.
Uh, that's the part where the cutscene happens. So for 14 minutes where the cutscene happens. So we'll just go from there. Um, you didn't find anything before you found the gun, so okay. why I told you that time Okay, so he gets the axe. He attacks Fendo. Yump, 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 yump. Gets more pills from Fendo, goes to the door. Then he goes around and gets so there's an ML that we've been looking at. He opens that. Goes through there. He also kills Fendo. Fendo is dead. Gets a knife. Gets twelve gold shotgun shells. He gets the Y well the Y tile. There's not enough inventory space. So he uses that thing, he takes the Y. He checks that again. Puts the Y in which weirdly triggers an F on the board, okay. Uh, then he goes up to here, deals with another frondo. Z was in the corner over there. I'm sure I got already. I'm sure I got that. I'll go double check that in a second. So that's two of them down. Three was there. Definitely got that one. Where's the fourth one? Even though that step said Z and O, it didn't. Z and O did not trigger on the board. Um, four or nine mil rounds. He can't go in here. How does that door just open for him? How does that door just open for him? There's the, it's the last one just here for him. Is that how it works? There's the last tile that we don't have. But but I am sure. If I go up this, if I go upstairs, that door does not open. For maybe the crowbar opens it. The door seems to be locked from the other side. I I can't get in that door. How the fuck does he get that door open? What the fuck have I not done? We're not gonna have to like deep dive watch this video again to try and find what the fuck I've not done.
There's the last fucking tile. You can see it. Seems to be locked from the other side. How the fuck do I open it then? That would at least explain why I couldn't fucking find it. just walks up to it. Just puts them in there, goes up the stairs, walks back, picks the rod up, picks the things up, picks the nine mill up, the door just opens. Why the fuck does that door just open for him? We need to have the rod equipped, maybe? Fuck only knows. Fuck only knows. Right, let's go check this. Uh, right, where's that rod? Need that back. I need to put it as... Cut, uh, three. We have the rod. Door is locked from the other side. Oh, don't say. I have a horrible feeling now. Don't say I needed to have opened it at the earlier the earlier bit of the game when we were first found here. Door is locked from the other side. Does he open it there? And because I didn't open it there, it's it's impossible to do for me. Yeah, it's because he opened it earlier and I apparently didn't open it. Well, that's shit. Yeah. <sighs> you know what? So you got locked. I got well. locked because I wasn't as thorough as I should have been and it, it just relocked itself. That's shit. Uh, motherfucker. Right. I, uh... I, I'm going to change game, I think, because I'm not going to... I'm just... I'm too annoyed to go all the way back and... I suppose it would... Can I load... Does that have to be, like, back here? Like an hour ago? Residents of Whispering Lane report mysterious noises coming from one of the neighboring houses, which has been abandoned for many months. Additionally, a few days ago, someone was seen here with a camera. Meanwhile, the police are dealing with riots in the city. So Jackson Harrowfield, the only available officer. Right, okay, so I'm back here now. Back here now. So if I go, I need the key for that, which was on, which is there. Yes, friend, I see you, but I've got stuff to do. If I come in here, I pick up this key. And then I go and open this door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That door is still locked. You need the key, which is this one. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, if you just fuck off with your hands, please, friend. I'm trying to do something. Remove those, remove those, remove that, remove that. Open the door. Right. Okay, now I've opened this door. Apparently, it should be just a case of coming back up here later on. Still can't believe how stupid I was that I didn't fucking catch that. Right, okay. Uh, there was nothing else in here, was there? No. That door seems to be shut, but I can just reopen it. Okay. Open this door. Go here. I put that in storage. 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 Now I leave the house and get that fucking cutscene. And hopefully, button to skip. There we go. Right. Now I can go back in here and get the pistol. here back under here get the herb put that on the wall put oh no don't take that out put it back in store 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 the knife I'm not gonna use it um, take the axe. left here. There's that one. There's nothing else in here apart from the sports bag. So we can go around and put stuff on this. We can put the uh, we'll keep those actually on us because they're playing mill rounds. Um, should be a friend in here, I thought. Although, maybe he's uh, away visiting. Oh, there he's out there. I see, maybe he's away visiting someone else, but he's outside. He's outside there doing his own thing. There he goes, right. 12 gauge. Nothing else there. Go back. I'm sure there was a. Is that another layer there? There was one. Um, put the 12 gauge ammo in. Keep the crowbar on us for now. It's always useful to have a crowbar. Even if it doesn't do anything. Go up here. Chop. 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 
Chop. Chop. Chop. Chop. Chop. Chop. Chop. Chop. Chop. Chop. Chop. Chop. Chop. Chop. Chop. Chop. Pick up the ammo, pick up the Z. There's nothing else there. The bag's half full. Pick up the rod, pick up the thing, pick up the ammo. Nothing else there. And now, because I did that last thing, that door now opens. Motherfucker. I've always me how many times I'm playing games and I just waste everyone's fucking time. It's not even really your fault that the game soft loves you like that. Yeah. that pick up that last fucking letter pick up that med pack we can't pick up med pack because we've got more space uh you know what take that because we've got enough damage let's go down and hand this motherfucker in in, put the med kit in, use the rest, it's fine. What are you doing there, friend? He's giving us another hair up to go in the bag, are you? That's nice of you. Um, alrighty. Anything else on any of the shelves? No. More 9 mil rounds. We probably should at least take the gun out for a little bit. Do do do. Nothing around there, nothing around there. Nothing around there. Uh, no, nothing around there. Back around here. Where the fuck's the. Oh, it's around here. Damn it. Uh, nothing else in here? No. Okay, we're back in the water section. Sploosh. Yeah, probably better with a gun in this section. Anything here apart from lots of squishy noises, though. Sploosh, 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 sploosh. Find a way of this place keep moving forward. Okay.
took the baseball bat. Okay. Um. Oh no, it's fine. Oh, I thought it was wedged, but no, it seems to be. I kind of am. I can't really walk properly. What the fuck? Is it the whole your damage slow you move slower? No, it's that I'm moving fucking sideways. Oh, is that why? Were you leaning on the keyboard, you twat? Oh, sorry, folks. My assistant was leaning on the keyboard. She's giving me a glare now, like, fuck, oh, fuck off, I'm not your assistant, I'm your cat. Uh, right, store. Uh, keep the first aid kit on us. Baseball bat. Is that baseball bat better than the axe? Probably not. I don't have much room, so that's why I'm a bit... Oh, we've got another backpack and a shotgun. Okay. Oh, we've got a shotgun. Welcome Raiders! Welcome Click! How you doing, my friend? How was your stream? What were you up to? One and four, okay. After conducting several investigations, I uncovered the horrifying history of this house. Built in the 1920s, it was the site of cruel. You come from horror and the Elden Ring. Mad scientist. His experiments on human fear led to the creation of something powerful. This house not only remembers, but feeds on the fear of people. It attracts victims, then feeds on their fear until it finally kills them. Well, you missed me um, fucking around for about an hour in this game, trying to find out what the fuck I was meant to be doing, uh, just to find that um, I hadn't looked, I hadn't opened the door in a first section, because I had opened that door, it was then locked fully for the second section, so I had to restart from like earlier on, which is always fun to do. Um, but apart from that, it's it's all right. Key for that. What the fuck is this? Just spiky corridor. This must be a joke or a nightmare. Chair. I think uh, I had said it was like 11 o'clock UK time it goes live. Or something weird like that. Steam told me it went live 10 a.m. this morning. Oh. Apparently not. Why is this and why can't I open it? Locked, I need a key. That's a visual effect, it's fucky. Tonight, I had my first encounter with these strange behaviors. Fear stalkers, as I called them, are terrifying creatures. They emerge from the darkness. They have red eyes and wear black cloaks. They look like skeletons. They seem to be the guardians of this house, watching over its secrets. I wonder how closely they are tied to its history. What is this? Oh, hang on, is this a destroyable box? Yeah. Oh, for fuck's sake. 
Anything inside? No. It's a smashable box, that's what it is. Ugh, oh, fuck. It's me like, what the fuck is this thing? Oh, it's a spidra. Hang on, that's my shotgun. Use first aid kit. Oh, Spidra, you flail like a bastard. Oh, okay, apparently he was a boss. Put a herb. Can I smash these things? Oh, they're just set dressing. Um Oh. Okay. Residents of Whispering Lane report mysterious noises. Should I save the game? Oh well. Bad killing spit friend. But sadly, that's a necessary evil. Picked up blood bag. Actually no use the med kit. A shotgun for the loaded? Yeah. He's very angry. Anything else in here? No, it doesn't seem to be. Right, let's go. What's that? Oh, more, more painkillers. Uh. Throughout the night, I felt a presence. Are they the ones controlling the entire house? Right, I want to put the um come on then, get back in there. There you go. Cat, could you please 
not be that far out because I need you to not be because I need to use my mouse. Um, right, that's fine. That's fine. It's basically my gun, my ammo. I'll put them over here actually. My my guns and the ammo, and then my two melee weapons, and then that's just some healing things. So that's just the new stuff. Right. What are you doing, kitten? Door is locked, need to find the key. Right, this, the key will be through here somewhere. I imagine, anyway. Fucking hell, he hits hard. I'll just take some of those then. Try and keep my shotgun for bosses. One two three. Why one? Two, is that one two three or seven two three? Either way. Something. There's nothing in there, is there? No. That's annoying. Pistol for now. Let's go through and round again. Uh, all right. Could I just be safe? Cause we can. Fall. Probably feel this might be a boss fight, so let's just bring the shotgun out. Can't I see properly? And where the fuck am I meant to be going? There we go. Things are coming back to normal now. Door there. Door is locked. Marvelous. Uh. Huh. Oh, this is fucking boards over it. Blended in. There we go. Big shadow friend. Big shadow friend. Nine mil ammo. So back to the nine mil gun. Another royal bottle. Door is locked. Door is locked. Hmm. 
Okay. Guess we'll go into the tunnel then. Are you an actual person, friend, or are you just there? No, you, oh, he is, though. Residents of Whispering Lane report mysterious noises coming from what? Yeah, 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 yeah. Is our save from the room before? Nope, it's. But it, could you not stand on my mouse, please? Could you not? Could you not stand on my mouse? I'd really appreciate it. I don't mind so much when he stands on my mouth as well, mouse as when he um like stands on it, then looks at you confused as you're kinda of going, Could you not fucking do that please? And he just goes, Huh? While he's doing it. That's the really annoying bit. It's more the did you mean this, father? Did you mean this? And you're like, Yes, that. Could you stop fucking doing that please? And he's just like I don't understand what the problem is. He's cleaning his ear right now. I don't know if you can hear him. He's so loud. Alright, I need the... Um, I need my pistol, but I need to be able to like, backtrack and shoot as quickly as possible. Why can't I go in there this time? In hell, he hits like a truck. What's with the, just the jittering mummy over there? Medicine? Oh, good to have some medicine. Oh, the, the jittering mummy killed me. Residents of Whispering Lane report <laughs> mysterious noise. The jittering mummy was enough to kill me. Oh, at least it saved me in this room. That's pretty good. room before it so yeah um, I'll put my shotgun on then so I imagine he's a boss then because he's pretty uh, Friendo. Residents of Whispering Lane report mysterious noises coming from one of the neighboring houses, which has been abandoned for many months. Okay, apparently he can just get wedged in the doorway so we can just kill him. Well, let's take advantage of that then. It's 
Still a lot of bullets. Unkillable. He might be unkillable. Well, it's taking all the ammo from both guns. Hit him. Gonna be here a while, aren't we? Yeah, I don't think he's killable. So we put what? 50 bullets plus about 15 shotgun shells into him? Plus hit him with the axe how many times now? Yeah, I don't think he's killable. I think he's an avoid boss. In which case, I need to reset my thing because otherwise. I just have lost all my ammo. Residents of Whispering Lane report mysterious noises. Drawer is locked. Ah, old drawer key. Where's the door?
I assume this the key back here is the one we need to let's just very quickly save just in case didn't save is that save? no seems saving has stopped working ok door was locked, I have to find another way door was locked, I have to find another way key for some door if it's not either of these doors, where the fuck is it then? Hey, um, yes, we are, we are living in the flesh house. It seems, um, yeah, this game is uh, is not great. Um, ah, oh, fuck, I'm being chased by a mummy friend. Uh, will he fuck off if I come back here? I think he does. Um, yeah, we spent an hour fucking around in this one um, before we realised that we couldn't get any progress because we had to open the door in an earlier part of it, and because of that, it would just like perma lock us from going any further. So we had to go back and redo everything in the hope that it would suddenly work again. So it's not been a fun God game. Hmm. What? Telling him that his dad just fed him and I'm not believing a lion cat. I have fed him. And he is a lion cat. He is a lion cat. Wow. How dare you rat me out, father. I thought we were on the same team. Ah, this door, okay. Oh, he killed me. Residents of Whispering Lane report mysterious noises coming. But there's no point trying to kill that mummy, mummy friend because um, we have tried, as in we have shunk all of our ammo into him at one point, uh, just to find that uh, he just was immune. Oh good, I'm back at Pink Terminal. Hmm? I said, oh good, I'm back at Pink Terminal. Yes. You don't have the cheap stuff I have. Oh yeah. Hello. I'm back. Hello, Father. Stompy McKees. Father, I'm back. Aren't Can you, you get happy? your paws out of there? Aren't you happy, Father? Why is it not letting me crouch? There we go. Right, got that door key. Got that war. There's some ammo somewhere around here, I'm sure. Sir. Sir, please. There was nothing in that one, was there? No. Ah, uh, another fall. Well, where's my shotgun in case I need it on the land? Oh, 
I did try and make friends with them. They wanted to hug, but just a little bit too tightly. What, for thingy readers? Yeah. Oh well. Oh. I've not been doing it like every five minutes. Mm -hmm. I've been doing it more like once or twice a battle when I, you know, happen to hear the thing. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, ladder. Also, there's new drops coming out today, so. How is it? Yeah. Alright. It's for a week, so you don't have to. That's fine. You don't have to rush. You can do it over the weekend. Yeah. Five hours if you can do it over the weekend. Oh! Get off me, Fredo. Oh. I'm dead. Residents of Whispering Lane report. I'm dead again. Noise. Oil bottle. Not nothing that way. Oh, I got box. 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 Hmm. What? I don't know. I just saw a shadow go over my hand, and I don't know what from. Oh, no, I do. What was it? Some kind of flying creature. Flying creature? Yeah, I'm not sure. Is it? Is it this? If you make him do that, then he looks like a flying squirrel. He does. My phone has an update, which I'm not happy about. It has got a very big wump, yeah. yeah. It's distorted wump. Wump. Wump.
all this. to the second boss. the rest of it for now. Motherfucker. Residents of Whispering Lane report mysterious noise. I hope I saved in between it after the fucking boss fight again. Yeah, it does. Thank God for that. Um. You know, I'll just use my shotgun. Because this prick is annoying. Just can't be fucked dealing with him when I can just blow his head off with a shotgun. Uh, right, right, right. It's already too late for you. It's past your bedtime. My, there's nothing else here. It's just some ammo. Is that it? So I might have to go down a different path or something. No? Okay, well... Where the fuck are we going? Oh, there he is. Don't need this item right now. You have one new message. Jack, it's 
Sarah, I know you just got back from the station, but there's a riot starting in the city and all officers are occupied. Additionally, residents are reporting problems on Whispering Lane, and I don't have anyone to send there. Get to the station as soon as possible. Whispering Lane? Riots in the city? This is just like my nightmare. Um, he doesn't work. He doesn't work. He doesn't work. He doesn't walk on the last door. Yeah, he doesn't work. Can I reload this part of the game? Residents of Whispering Lane report mysterious noise. got back from the station, but there's a riot starting in the city and all officers are occupied. Additionally, residents are reporting problems on Whispering Lane, and I don't have anyone to send there. Get to the station as soon as possible. Whispering Lane? Riots in the city? This is just like my nightmare. <laughs> Police officer Jackson Harrowfield wakes up from a nightmare and finds himself in his apartment. His heart raced faster at the thought of the message he received from Sarah regarding Whispering Lane. He struggles to get up, grabs his keys and phone, trying to calm his nerves. Stepping out of the apartment, he feels the night enveloping him in darkness, reminding him of the deepest fears lurking in his soul. He heads to the subway from where he will go to the police station 
where Sarah awaits him. Hmm. Okay. Oh, there is a it's I th it was the right way, I just didn't look it because it was all smoky. So like one carriage open for me or something. Very best and evil cutscene in that one. What what happened? Why did we stop? Fucking mummy again. Police officer Jackson Harrowfield wakes up from a nightmare. What happened? Why did we stop? That door was locked. Okay. I thought it was over, but it wasn't. I woke up in my room, got ready for work, and took the metro. That's when it started. <laughs> if you're reading this, it means you're experiencing the same thing. There's something strange happening on this train. Weird anomalies. Oh, fuck off. If you see anything unusual 
Don't force me to play an anomaly game. Anomaly games. Ah, uh, hidden anomaly game jump scare, yeah, exactly. I'm going back again considering the uh, the thing don't want to play an anomaly game There's no radio, so that probably counts for something. <sighs> Don't want to play anomaly games. I have a suspicion that this is not going to change anytime soon and they've tricked me into playing an anomaly game. If ever there was an unforgivable sin in the world of gaming it's this. I'm done with this one. I'm not, I'm not playing it. I'm not normally game. Which is a shame because um, it was beginning to get. I say same shame. There's lots of things wrong with that last game, but yeah. Um, let us do. I suppose we're going to reset the stream because we have a lot of people. A lot of people. We have a lot of time um, out the way. Um, the next one is meant to be a two to four hour game, so yeah, I think we will be start streaming before we do it. But as usual, we'll bring it up on stream so you can see what we're coming back to. Uh, it's this one. Which is uh, Goro... Goro Gamble? Gorgmo? 
it's uh, let me bring the stream page up. It's uh, Gorugumo. Gorugumo. Uh, a stealth and puzzle game. Uh, it should be interesting. But yes, as I said, that'll be when we come back from the restart. We just change the info. And I will restart the stream. And we'll carry on with this. Goro Gomo. I shall copy the, the full text so we've got it properly. There we go. Right. Uh, does it exist? Gomo Guno's trail? No, just Goro Gomo. Mm, ah, Goro Gomo. There we go. Right. No, I don't want that one. I want Zorogomo. There we go. Right. That will be as I've done that. Not changed it for something else. Um, we'll be back in two or three minutes for this. Uh, I'm just going to, as usual, pause the stream, um, put them on your back screen, restart the stream, do the adverts, and then just come straight back into it. And once we're back into it, we will start with Zorogomo. So, yes, let me just bring that back off, and I will see you all in about 2-3 minutes. So, yeah, I'll probably ask you all to restart the stream, one, restart your streams once I've done as well, because it'll probably just kill my viewer account. But, yeah, back in two folks. Mm -hmm. 